this is not a political rant. When it comes to MGTOW and we're talking about intersexual dynamics between men and women, the philosophy of MGTOW of men going their own way also has to do with um, independence in other areas. It's not just with women, it's with your finances, um, with your mentality, with your emotions, um, physically, spiritually, your career. It's going your own way in general. So a lot of times with MGTOW videos focusing on um, how that interplays with men and women, but MGTOW can also be the rest of your life. And with politics, um, this is not going to be a political rant video, but you'll hear whether it's um, a national level or state level or um, city level, someone always has this mentality of, well, if the Republicans in office, we're screwed. If the Democrats in office, we're screwed. And that a lot of people live their lives based on if, if my uh, person or ideology is the thing, that's what's going to uh, save me or help me for the rest of my life and if it's the other thing then the rest of us are screwed and we have no future but take it back for a second um, like a thousand years ago when we're just out in the wild and uh, we need to survive that goes out the window your whole uh, ideology of what side you pick or whatever uh, that's what life is at the end of the day like needing to get by to the next day so um, my advice with people that are just like this wrapped up into um, certain outcomes, it's like you've got to like be on point regardless of what other forces that you can't control. So like if you have a business idea or you currently have a business or you're building a business, you've got to be focused on that business regardless of whether, whether the Republican wins or the Democrat wins or this thing happens or like, oh, they're going to implement this law or they're going to uh, th like do this thing that's going to hurt me or hurt that group or like, you know, so like you're like you're like uh, hoping that your side wins or that like everyone's screwed otherwise, which you're, granted, you're going to have whatever opinion you have on that and you have every right to have that opinion. But uh, understand what it means to go your own way and to take care of yourself as it is regardless of what happens you know if you're if you're a painter or something and you sell art get good at painting and sell your art regardless of like the next 50 years who could be in charge or who you could uh like think should be in power like just focus on your art focus on your craft focus on your business um focus on your health work out eat healthy regardless of all of that regardless of the outcome because a lot of people um, whether it's politics or other areas, they're, they're very dependent on like A, B, and C needs to happen before D can manifest in my life. So um, sometimes too, it's your family. It's like, oh, well, my family doesn't see my vision for my life. My family doesn't see my goals. They don't see my dreams. They don't understand what I'm doing. And uh, people get upset by that. Oh, my family's not supporting me. You got to get out there in the world and you got to do things and not expect your family to support you. Like your family knows you from a baby to now, like they're not gonna support some thing that they don't comprehend. That's just the truth. The people that you know, the people that you're close to, they see it in a certain light. So you got a, you got a business idea or something you wanna do with your life, you gotta go do that stuff. You can't be waiting for the go ahead from family and friends and people you went to school with and people you work with and people in your city. You can't wait for their, their blessing. You can't wait for their grace, their, uh, their go ahead for you like your their permission for you to do that thing and that goes with politics you can't wait for um like the go ahead from something like you think in your mind that whatever outcome happens you have it already like oh like we're um we're screwed if this happens and this is the thing that should happen and so you have two sides of that whether it's the uh, national level or state or city everyone has their own opinion on how that's going to play out but regardless of that, you've got to go your own way in general. Because we're out here surviving. If say if, if I'm in the wild with like 10 other people and there's 11 of us, say like five are on one side of the aisle and five are on the other side, and we're just out in the elements, out in the woods somewhere, you guys better check that shit at the door. You guys better uh, you know, be on point with food and shelter and survival and stuff that's real, man. We don't need that, uh, that divisive stuff. You're gonna have your opinion on that. You're gonna have whatever uh, view you have on that, but uh, at the end of the day, regardless of what side you're on, whether that's politics or religion or race or um, just whatever, you gotta check that at the door because we gotta we gotta get along with the next person. We gotta get by to the next day. So we're out in the wild together. 
we got to know where the river is. We got to know where some fresh water is. We got to know where there's like fruit growing. We got to know how to hunt or fish or whatever the hell we're going to do. You know, we, and so you got to take it upon yourself to go your own way in general, regardless of what other force you think needs to happen for your life to happen. You know, people think that sometimes too, it's like, well, this, this law needs to go into effect or, um, Th this concept needs to happen and be promoted um, this ideology because that's the all ideology I feel is what we need and my life is going to be affected positively or negatively as a result of this but you only can control so much so there's an aspect that you got to just go your own way by yourself with no motivation nobody uh, leading you uh, to the path nobody cheering you on nobody gonna do it for you you got to go your own way regardless of what you think is gonna happen and so you see a lot of these people that are so dependent on this stuff like this needs to happen or or this is another thing like I, I'll lose respect for you if you uh, support this side or like you know but it's like adults talking and they're like that or it's just like it's just like weird it's just like it, it just it's like yeah someone had a different opinion than you you're gonna lose respect or you're just gonna like look at the person differently or you're just gonna like like that you know that's just like the line in the sand there so it just it just kind of weird it's like regardless of what happens with politics regardless of what happens with uh people with more power than you that you have no control over what's going to happen in the future regardless of religions regardless of race regardless of what's going on in your family or with your friends or the school you go to or uh, the, the hometown you're in that doesn't support what you're doing, the people around you with the crabs in the bucket mentality that don't understand what you're trying to do, you gotta find that place inside you to go your own way. You gotta find that place inside you that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you're just gonna go your own way and do what you gotta do. Speaking of all this craziness, so I'm in Pacific Beach right now in San Diego selling tie-dye and um, yeah, it's it's another example of what I'm talking about with this is um, no matter what happens with politics, who could be in charge, who could win, who could uh, whatever course happens in the future, I gotta come out here the day after and still sell shirts. Like I gotta I gotta make it happen. I'm not like gonna wait for the Republican to win or the Democrat to win or the Republican to lose or the Democrat to lose or. Uh, Christianity needs to be correct or Judaism needs to be correct or Islam needs to be correct or my family has to tell me that I'm talented my friends have to give me the go-ahead uh, people from my school have to like my social media post my co-workers have to understand at a previous job why I'd want to move on to another job like you can't be waiting for this go-ahead stuff you can't be waiting for uh, like a B and C to happen before D needs to happen you just got to go make stuff happen you got to go your own way and you've got to control what you can control and stop worrying about things you can't control. So yes, you're gonna have your opinion on what you think needs to happen, but a lot of people very late into life still get caught up in this mindset where it's just like they're waiting for like this other force to happen. And they're always, you see this every four years. It's like, like my, like my uh, group needs to be in charge because the other people are gonna screw us over. And then, like, then the other group is saying that about their group. Like, my group needs to be in charge because their group's going to screw us over. So it's just like a lot of people are on this back and forth thing where they get riled up every four years. But then you look at the person, it's like, it's like, dude, do you even like, like, eat healthy? Do you even like focus on your own goals? Do you even like get up and like motivate yourself at anything any day? Um, like, you got to like do some stuff on your own. You can't just be so like. Um, like like tribalistic like our group needs to be in charge because those people got it wrong and like it, it just like dude like regardless of what you think happens or needs to happen or is going to happen nobody's gonna do anything for you I don't care what rhetoric someone has like nobody's just gonna randomly do stuff for you so you got to take it upon yourself to some extent to just go do stuff you got to take it upon yourself to go your own way you can't be waiting for these other forces to happen so that's what um, I just want to talk about with this video, with everything going on in the election and all that. Um, you know, you're gonna have people are gonna have their view on voting versus not voting, Republican versus Democrat, um, all of that. Like the who's right, who's wrong. And I, this video is not about that. This is not a political rant. This is just um, the mindset in general people have, uh, where they're so dependent on something needs to happen because our group has it correct, theirs has it wrong. 
but you're so distracted with all this stuff that you're never doing your own stuff. Like, like I said, if you got a business or something or an idea, you gotta just be working on that regardless of who wins. You gotta be working on that regardless of your family seeing it or not. You gotta be working on that regardless of your friends supporting it or not. You gotta be working on that regardless of your current coworkers um, not seeing you in that light. They just, like if you're a janitor somewhere, they're like, oh, he just cleans here. So that's just how they're gonna view you. They're going to view you that way. So just work on your business and don't care about their opinion. They've already seen you in that light don't look for their support or their go ahead. You need to go your own way, regardless of what you think needs to happen, regardless of what you think the course is, and regardless of other forces that you just can't control.